안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. Today we're going to talk about ASP.NET Core. And the reason why is because in this year's Stack Overflow Developer Survey, ASP.NET Core passed React.js as the most loved web framework. So I decided to make a video to talk about what is ASP.NET Core, who is using it and what can you do with it, what makes it exciting and why it can compete with React, and when would I choose ASP.NET over React.js. So let's get started. First of all, what is ASP.NET? .NET Core is a developer platform built by Microsoft that allows you to build almost anything using C Sharp, F Sharp, and Visual Basic. Using .NET Core, you can build applications for iOS and Android using Xamarin. Also, you can build Internet of Things applications, you can build desktop applications, and even machine learning applications. So you can build almost anything, including web backends, which is what ASP.NET Core framework was meant to be for. ASP.NET Core Framework allows you to build that backends, websites. That's what it allows you to build. Now, who is using ASP.NET Core? ASP.NET Core is used by some of the most gigantic websites on the internet. The ones that you might have heard of are Tencent, which is this Chinese big company. Also, Stack Overflow runs on ASP.NET Core and even GoDaddy, which is one or the biggest hosting domain WordPress provider out there. And that makes sense because ASP.NET Core is, I guess, very, very friendly for the enterprise and also is incredibly, incredibly fast. With Java, for example, you can run at 0.7 million requests per second, which is incredibly fast. Also with Node.js, you can run at 0.8 million requests per second, which is again, pretty, pretty fast. But with ASP.NET Core, you can run at 7 million requests per second. And that is no joke. That is really, really, really fast. So it makes sense that ASP.NET Core is so much used for like the enterprise and people that really need speed, people that really need control. So how come a sort of enterprise framework is now on the top of the most loved frameworks under React.js. The reason why is because ASP.NET Core got really exciting because of some really cool features. One of those features, or the most important feature in my opinion, is called Blazor. What Blazor does is that it allows you to make your frontend also using C Sharp. And that's great freaking news. Because as we know, there has been a tendency of many programming languages of trying to eliminate JavaScript. We don't want to write on JavaScript anymore. We want to compile to JavaScript, but we don't want to write it or compile to WebAssembly as well. Now, this is true when you work with Blazor. Blazor allows you to make your backend using C Sharp and your frontend also using C Sharp. And now with Blazor, you can compile to WebAssembly. So that means that you can write C Sharp code, you can compile to WebAssembly, so it's going to run incredibly fast, and also you can call some JavaScript libraries or APIs that you need. So it's the best of both worlds, C Sharp plus JavaScript. That's only provided by Blazor. Also, Blazor works on the server as well. And what that means is that your client doesn't have to have all the UI logic. What that means is that the UI logic can be processed on the server and your client, when it makes an event, for example, a click, that will go through a very fast WebSocket connection called Signal IR, it will go to the server, it will process the UI logic there, and it will go back with the change of how the new UI should look like on the front end. So everything will feel interactive, but you will have the security of a server side rendered application, which is again, something that I guess the enterprise would be really, really happy about. So that's it. Blazor is just really, really cool. C Sharp on the back end, C Sharp on the front end. This is something that really no other framework has, no Java Spring Boot or Django or anybody apart from Node.js, which is one of the reasons why Node.js grew so much because people used to say that thanks to Node.js, you don't have to write different languages. With Node.js, you can write JavaScript on the front end and JavaScript on the back end. It was a huge selling point. And now you can write C Sharp on the front end and C Sharp on the back end. So again, maybe this will be something big and maybe it's something to consider, maybe it's something to learn. 
So why do I think that ASP.NET Core is becoming more popular than ReactJS? And we can see that from the survey. The reason why I think is because the JavaScript ecosystem can be very, very exhausting for developers. When you work on JavaScript, yes, it's nice, but it's very, very exhausting to set up everything and there are many moving parts and it doesn't feel like a product. Actually, you download React.js and then you need something else and then you need something else and it's all just a mix of many open source libraries. And if you look at ASP.NET Core, it's more of a product. It's made by Microsoft and they have spent millions and millions of dollars and they have spent hours and hours of human talent into making ASP.NET Core a really good enterprise product. So I've spent a couple hours this weekend looking at how to make an application on ASP.NET Core. And yeah, it just works. You create the application, you fill out some forms, you press some buttons, and then you can get a full template with many things ready for you and ready to start. And it just feels like it just works because everything is under one big product and that is the .NET Core framework which again can feel less exhausting if you are a full stack developer like me when I'm just trying and fighting with many open source libraries and trying to configure everything together. I guess this experience also happens if you are a Java Spring Boot because Java Spring Boot is very nice. It allows you to have so many things just working out of the box. So I guess this is why it's growing and I'm, I'm very excited to see what happens because I think it's really, really cool that we don't have to write JavaScript anymore. We can just write C Sharp on the front end and that's great. I learned C Sharp before because I was making Unity 3D video games and I think C Sharp is a really cool language. So I'm very happy with this change. I'm not upset at all that React is now the second place. I don't really mind. It's a really good time to be alive. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this video on the comments. Please share this with your friends. Leave a like. Tell me, do you work on C Sharp? Are you going to learn C Sharp? Why aren't you going to learn C Sharp? Which one do you like the most? Thank you so much. As always, don't forget to be happy. Eat kimchi. Kamsanida. Sarangheo. And bye-bye.